Hello Nintendo fans, my name is Pokemaro, and welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Explorers of Sky. Last time, we ended up saving little baby Azuril from the big ol' mean Grousy. Because we had some weird daydreams, I'm not quite sure what that's about, but we're just gonna pretend that it never happened and just continue on with our day. And three, smiles go for miles. Okay Pokemon, time to get to work! Hooray! Alright, you two. Let me give you your assignment for today. Look up jobs on the job bulletin board in the Outlaw Notice Board. You list the jobs that we'll do for today. Understood? No shirking your work, okay? Well, if you understand, get on with it! Okay. I just want to immediately come out and confess something. Um, so... We can accept all of these quests immediately. Uh, yeah. I did not know that was a thing. I did not know that you could accept multiple jobs at one time. So, when I was little, I only ever did one request at a time. And so you can imagine, I had a lot less items, I had a lot less cash, and my team rank was a lot lower. So yeah, I used to struggle a little bit in this game, even with the amount of exploring I still did at that time. So yeah. Let's go and look what we got. We got three for Beach Cave and two for Grunge Bluff. So one of these we need to find a decoy orb. Uh the rest of these two are rescue missions. One of these gives a revive seed, so I'll I'm definitely happy about that. One of these just gives cash and a random item. So Let's. I guess we're gonna go, uh, go ahead and head to the uh, to the beach cave. But of course, we always want to stop by the uh, the stores, see if there's anything that we might want to buy. I would like to check you first. So it's hard to believe you've been exploiting the team for a short while. Look at the heckly wares for you. Where you can find ores and TNs. Uh, let's see, do you have anything useful? No. This guy would care like nothing useful at the beginning of the game. What do you got? Emmys, berries. You also. And you have a Viber Seed Fine got money for that. And again, honestly, this bit this part of the game is actually like really easy, so. You don't really need any reviver seeds at this point. So let's see here. I don't need all these orange berries. And then yeah, I got my skateboard, got my full seal arm. Let's go ahead and store all these. Yes, store them. And nope, nothing else. So alrighty then. We get to head to the beach cave, though, so, since it's the dungeon we've already been through before, I'll just go ahead and skip any non-important stuff, and I will see you when stuff gets interesting. Okay, we are on the second floor, and it's already a destination floor, and we can already see our first climb. Climb? Blah, blah. English, please. Ron Starly, want to use your badge to risk Scarly? Scarly? <laughs> Badge signs on Starly, and Starly is transported away magically. Thank you. I'll see you at the guild when you with your reward when you return. I've completed a mission. Would you like to leave the dungeon now? No. Want to continue exploring? Yes, that's basically what I was saying. You're basically just asking me the same question twice. Now, if I recall, isn't there, isn't there another objective on this floor? No, it's not something much floor. Okay, we're on the next floor, and there's our client again already! Thank you, I'll see you at the guild with your reward when you return. I think they're mostly just money, but maybe this one is a little bit of a privacy. Get the dungeon now? Nope. Yes. Is it just me, or does it look like there'd be like some hidden troves of treasure just beyond this stream of water? That's just me.
Alrighty, we're on the final destination floor, and if I recall, this is the freaking final floor of the dungeon, too. For once, and for once, the... Our objective isn't in the first room we spawn in, unless it's this item in the bottom right, which it probably is. Yeah! So we spawned in the room with our with their objective every single time. Uh, I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish going through the dungeon. Maybe find something interesting. I did not mean to do that. That's what happens when you spam A. Okay, and we've reached the Beach Cave Pits. Only four floors. This appears to be the end of the dungeon. It's impossible to go any further. Have to go back. So yeah, pretty short. Completed three jobs though, so that's nice. But, yeah, I picked up li like really no other items besides sleep seeds. And because the Pokemon there are so weak, I barely got any XP. We didn't set this one thousand P. But we only get a hundred because Haxes! Ten Explorer rank points. I mean, yes, we got a Reviver Seed. And a Heal Seed. That's always nice. Ten more Explorer points. And then you just give me money. Alright. Overall, I'd say it was a fine day. Love the eating scene. This will never get old to watch. We should get some sleep too. Let's make tomorrow. Let's, let's make tomorrow another good day, Ellie. Okay. Good night. We're already on to the next chapter. Chapter four: The Gatekeepers. The next morning. The Bradam. It's morning. Uh. Good morning, Ellie. We do not save because my software has liked to crash recently. And three, smiles go for miles. Okay, Pokemon. Time to get to work. Hooray! Alright, you two! We need your help with something today! Piglet, I brought them! Thank you, Landon. You two are doing sentry duty today! Sorry, I'm usually the one- I'm usually the one to do the sentry duty. But today, my dad gave me his job- his duty of updating the boards. That's why I can't man my post. It'd be great if someone could take over my sentry duty for today. And that's why you're here. Please do a good job for me. Bye! And that's that! Huh? I didn't follow that at all. Why are we involved in this? Shut your yap! No more belly aching! Do your duty! Ow. My head is pounding. What are we supposed to do? Climb down this hole and stand guard. You're on sentry duty. Sentry duty? You heard right. Sentry duty. I can't have suspicious characters coming into the guild. So we station a sentry below the guild entrance to evaluate to evaluate Pokemon visitors. When you first came, you had your footprint evaluated, right? My footprint? What do you Pokemon detected? Pokemon detected. Whose footprint? Whose footprint? The footprint is Pikachu's? The footprint is Pikachu's. Uh... Oh, now I remember. There was that weird hole in front of the gate. I stood on the grating, and then someone shouted up at me. It was startling! Okay, you want us to climb down this hole, and then? The tunnel down there leads to the sentry post! Diglett burrows through it and pops out underneath the sentry post. From the sentry post, Diglett inspects the footprints of visitors, identifies them, then informs me. Then, I decide if the Pokemon is suspicious or not, and open the gate if he passes Mister. So we serve as the guild's gatekeepers. That's the gist of it. Look, all 
All you two have to do is inspect the footprints of visitors, then tell me what Pokémon they are. Alright? Understand? Understood. Good! Now let's get to work! Fuck up and do a good job! Ah, it's pitch black in here, Ellie. We'll have to feel our way. Well, we should be in, we should be getting close to the sentry post. Oh, there. I see light, Ellie. How's it going? Have you taken position at the sentry post? Yes, we're in position. Good. Pokemon visitors will step onto the grill above the sentry post. Identify them by footprint and inform me. Got that? Yes, understood. Good. Let's get started. Now, like, I just want to say, there's like, you never see two of the same Pokemon in like the town. So like, someone could easily like become like an imposter and like sneak in under like the alias that they're the guild's Badoof or something. Like, I just feel like there's a there, there's there's many flaws with this system. I don't know. Look at the footprint on the top screen, okay? The identify the Pokemon. You can get only two wrong, okay? Vincent will keep an eye on things. Here comes a Pokemon. Check its footprint and tell me what it is. It's a little stub. Uh, Ivysaur? Crap. It's still somewhere in Piplup, okay. The, the footprint is Piplup, the footprint is Piplup. Okay, I'm not completing all that, it's going by way too fast. Uh... Charizard? Okay, yeah, I got it right then. Good. <laughs> it's, it's a little hard, I'm not gonna lie. It's another stub. Crap, I'm just gonna wait. I don't care how many points I get. Intimidate? Cyndaquil then? Okay. What nature's a freaking Vulpix then? Stop making them little stubs. Make them easier to tell. Like that, yes. Hitmonlee. That's easily Hitmonlee. Okay, uh, Pidgey, that's the only one that's a freaking bird. Uh, it's clearly a Bulbasaur. Uh, die. Looks right. It's not a paw. Damn it, Mudkip. <laughs> I thought it looked like a paw or something. I don't know. I'm not gonna do this. Sorry to. Oh, that's stupid. Sorry. Sorry to keep you waiting. Vincent and Ellie! That'll do it! Now get back here! You worked it on a day, you two! Let me review your sentry duty performance! Well, well! Your results were completely perfect! And uh, not entirely, but thanks, I guess? You identified every visitor correctly! Excellent! We did it! We'll reward your effort! Generously, I might add. You, you all deserve an especially large reward! We get 500p, love it. Joy Seed, absolutely love it. A Ginseng. I have no idea what that is. What the heck is that? <laughs> well, that's not the end of it. Life Seed. What does that do again? I forget. I also don't know. So many rewards, can you believe it? Keep it up, keep up the good work. Hooray. Okay, keep doing good, us do-gooders. We should get some sleep, too. Let's take tomorrow another good day, Ellie. Okay? Good night. Next morning. Bernadum! It's morning! Uh, good morning, Ellie. Still not taking. And three! Miles go for miles. Okay, Pokemon! Time to get to work! Hooray! Alright, you two. Let me give you your assignment for today. Look up jobs on the job bulletin board and the outlaw notice board. 
and a list of jobs that we'll do for today. Understood? No shucking your work today, okay? Well, if you understand, get on with it! Now, if... I think I'm correct in this, there should be some outlaws. No, I was wrong. Ignore what I said. But we do got some more jobs, just go ahead and accept them all. Three more for the Beach Cave, but... Four for Mount Bristle. Whoa. What are these all about? Deliver a Petra Berry, I can do that. Find a Red Gummy. Deliver a Cherry Berry, I can also do that. Rescue Spinner. All these rewards are nice. But I need to mingle with some of this. Honestly, I don't see it entirely worth the keep freaking Beach Cave ones. So, yeah, so leave all those. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do some preparation, and I will see you once I am done with that. I actually don't have a cherry berry. I had a bad feeling. I. Them all. I know in I'm pretty sure in the last episode I'd come across two cherry berries right next to each other, but I think I just ate them both. Well, I guess this is why you keep a little bit of everything on. Good to know for next time, and yeah, I don't think this guy carried freaking nah. Well, that's my mistake. Well, it seems like we're going to be heading off to Mount Bristle, since we got four jobs there. Of course, one of those involves that cherry berry. Though, we might hopefully get lucky and find a cherry berry in those first six floors. So, here's hoping that. See you guys if anything interesting happens. Alright, we made it to our first destination floor. I have yet to find a uh, cherry berry though, so it ain't looking too good. I can watch it like cherry berries don't even spawn here. That'd be kind of that'd be kind of sad. Anyway, oh, I didn't have to do that. Found spinner rack. Not leave the dungeon. You explore. Back to the dead. <laughs> we're cornered. Okay, we've reached the destination of the cherry berry floor, but I have yet to find a cherry berry. Found a petra berry and an orange berry. Not a cherry berry. The one other berry that I need. Like the game's taunting me. Look, there's the client. Have it though. Okay, so yep, that's unfortunate. Plus, might get lucky. Who knows? I have to eat something soon. Get out of the way! Oh, get up! Stop growling at me! Come here! Freaking coward! Come up here! Freaking coward! Yeah, I think the cherry berry dream is dead. Take care of these guys. One more room, I think. Uh, not even. That's it. Yeah, cherry berry dream dead. Alright, immediately on the next floor, we got another destination. I watch as I get a cherry berry on this floor. Let's see. I don't even remember what this one is. Or red gummy. Oh wait, that's okay, that's what we need. No, I not leave the dungeon. Yes, continue exploring. And once again on the very next floor, another destination floor. They were literally all four back to back to back. 
Freaking 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th floor. Warpsy! Not very useful to me. You're in an awful position. There we go. Thankfully, you poop. That's good then. And this one, just another rescue. Or a berry. But, like I said, I don't need you to throw you away. They have an extra orange berry. There's the stairs. So we need to find our client, though. Being hungry again. There he is. He wanted the Petra berry, the one berry that we actually did find an extra of in this dungeon. Alright, I'm gonna go through the rest of the dungeon, and I'll see you guys if anything happens. <laughs> this is a little funny. I spawned right. On, I spawned directly on the stairs. There was a. He saw the Nidorina just there, and it was enough to give Ellie a level up. And once again, barely get any stat changes. Dungeon crawl's been weird, I'm just gonna say that much. Defeated a spinner rack, and now Vincent grew to level 12 as well! And once again, he gets the better stat upgrade. Lucky boy. Lucky boy. Okay, made it to the rest of Mount Bristol. Made it to the peak again. It appears to be the end of the dungeon. Impossible to go any further. Time to go back. I found so many freaking horn berries. I have like six or seven of them of them in my bag. Thank you for rescuing, thank you for rescuing Spinner Rack. Please accept this 2000p. Just haunt you by saying that. We need explorer rank points. All right, we don't even get to keep the red gummy. Damn. Want <laughs> to explore rank points? We delivered your petra berry. Extra 200. We got a Reviver Seed, yes! Wonderful. And we continue to choo-choo slurp slurp. We should get some sleep too. Let's make, t let's make tomorrow another good day, Ellie. Okay? Good night. Chapter 5. The first official exploration. Bernardo! It's morning! Uh, good morning, Ellie. We will once again not save, but... I decided... These episodes are going to be a little bit smaller. Because now... If that, with, me, with me making them a little bit smaller, I'll be able to get each of them out a little bit faster, and they'll be a bit more enjoyable to be, like, bite-sized bits. Because not everyone wants to watch, like, 40, 50 minute episodes. So, this is still more of an experiment, because there was a lot of cutting. I'm not exactly sure how much I'll be cutting out of this video. In fact, probably no will end up being under 20 minutes. I've been recording for a 30 tick. But anyway... I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time, where we take on this next chapter. Bye!